We can be adding adjustments to our layers in Adobe Photoshop using a completely separate layer just to preserve our original layer or element. And these are called adjustments layers. You can be finding them here and we can be adding contrast, hue, saturation, curves or levels or any of these adjustments layers in a completely separate layer to our elements and let's see them in action. Here we have our file. We have sky layer we have two layers for the sky actually we have that area in here and that area as well they are presented in sky 1 and sky 2 and also we have pyramids layer including desert and pyramids of course we have typography layers along with logo and some other visual effects however we're going to be focusing on main elements in here so let's maybe say we need to reduce color vibrance in our design we can be adding vibrance as adjustment layer and you will see that we have a completely new layer added within our layers panel and this layer will be affecting all layers below that one so it's going to be affecting sky 2 1 pyramids and any of these layers if they are visible however now these are only visible layers and here we have controls for vibrance we can be bringing that down a bit maybe something like that and also we can be reducing or increasing saturation as well from here however I'm gonna keep saturation as it is for now on zero and let me even reduce that one a bit so we can see it in a better way within our example now collapsing our properties panel and now instead of affecting all these layers with our vibrance adjustment layer we can be controlling specific layers with that effect so we can be moving our vibrance effect below sky 2 to control only that part of our sky maybe for a surreal effect and I find it actually looks very cool like that however we can be only linking that one to that part of the sky excluding also pyramids area and that desert so we can be pressing command and we will be seeing that sign in here that we can be linking these two layers to each others so we're gonna be clicking and now we have our vibrance layer only affecting our sky one layer so you can see that area of our sky is only gray with reduced vibrance or instead we can be applying the same effect on the entire sky by maybe pressing command again so we're gonna be removing that link between these two layers the adjustment layer and sky one and I'm gonna be arranging that one up again then I'm going to be pressing shift to select these three layers, grouping them, pressing command or control G to group them. We're going to be having a folder including these layers. We have our vibrance layer and we have our sky two and one in that group. However, as you can see, guys, we still have our pyramids affected with that vibrance layer. And that's actually because we have our blending mode on path through. So we're going to be changing that one to normal. And now that effect will not be passing through the group to affect the pyramids layer. And now maybe you can be applying another adjustment layer on our pyramids. So can be selecting our pyramids layer in order to apply that adjustment layer on that one. We're going to be going maybe to color balance in here. We can be balancing our colors within that adjustment layer so let's maybe bring it to a bit to cyan maybe a little bit as well of magenta and cooling everything maybe like that or we can get it that way just for example now we have that one applied to our pyramids layer we can be checking our adjustment layer anytime on and off to see the difference and judge ourselves if we like that one or we need to apply another effect of course this looks even better with that adjustment and even we can keep adding more adjustments layer to our layer so let's maybe go for saturation hue saturation and we can be reducing saturation a bit as well for that layer just a little bit like that and anytime you would like to get rid of your group of layers in here you can be selecting your group pressing command shift g that will be ungrouping your layers once again that shortcut also existing in Adobe Illustrator. We can be grouping layers or ungrouping them using Command G or Command Shift G. However, I think it's quite bail like that. So let me undo that. 
Of course, also what's really amazing about adjustment layers that we can be controlling their opacity and same exactly like using Instagram filters, you can be reducing intensity for some filters. So we can be reducing maybe vibrance a bit, selecting our vibrance, reducing opacity for that effect. So as you can see guys, we have maximum control over our effects using adjustment layer. However, if we, let's maybe disable any of these. So let's maybe disable that one and also that one as well and now let's maybe select our pyramids and i'm gonna be applying the same effect as a direct effect from images adjustments and we have hue saturation let's maybe bring that one a bit like that now once we apply that effect to our image in a direct way we no longer gonna be able to remove that one from our image except of course using undo or command z so we're gonna keep it that way and pressing ok now we cannot be removing that effect as you can see from our image so i'm gonna be undoing that and i'm gonna be applying adjustment layers once again and what's really cool about using adjustment layers as well that we can be editing our settings anytime so we can be double clicking in here to edit our color balance effect maybe once again so we can be customizing our values anytime and the same as well for any of these adjustment layers so hopefully guys after watching this video you will be applying your effects using adjustment layers instead of applying them directly on your layers